In this video, I'm going to be doing a little bit of gaming on Linux. This game is freely available on Steam. It's called Transmissions Element 120. This game uh, takes place in the Half-Life world, so it's a first-person shooter. It's a lot of fun. It's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux, and like I said, it's freely available. And they've also released the source code here, as you can see. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and do a little bit of gaming here. Uh, i shrink that. As you can see, I'm running a little bit of a different system here. Uh, I've installed Kubuntu 16.10 just so I could test the AMD GPU Pro drivers on this R285 and I'm really not impressed with this over the drivers that come with Manjaro so I probably will be going back to Manjaro at some point but uh, let's go ahead and have a look at the game here and uh, I tried 1610 because a guy that I watched by the name of English Bob on YouTube he's a big uh, Linux guy he's doing a lot of gaming videos kinda of got me into trying this again and uh, so yeah, he said it was a uh, little bit better than Arch for frame rates and stuff like that. And I'm not really noticing a difference, honestly. Quality looks about the same. My uh, GTX 470 on the, Mau the uh, Maui system uh, looks and runs better, I think, for the most part. At least on some games, anyway. But here we are. This is a point in the game that I saved in Chapter 2. You can see really nice uh, texturing on the walls here. A lot of detail, a lot of elements we can play with here, like uh, we can grab this beer bottle here, for example, and throw it and smash it up against the floor. And like I did with the TV, or just take that and, well, you know, we're Superman here, so we can just kind of launch this thing, you know, it's like weightless to us. Let's go ahead and get up on this chair here, <clears throat> smash out this vent here, so we can get up into the duct, and we'll turn on our flashlight, and you can see... Again, some of that really nice texturing detail. I don't know why this game is free, because it's really an impressive game, but I'm thankful that it's been created nonetheless. I can't really go up here, I can't jump up there, but if you could, it'd be kind of neat to see what's up there. So we'll go this way here. This is the typical way we've got to go on this duct here. And there's a vent right there we could have smashed open if we could have got through there, but no, we fell through. Get a little bit dazed here. It's a good thing that duck doesn't fall on us there, otherwise we'd be hurt pretty bad. So we've got some stuff here we can play with. I have no idea what the hell that thing is. Can I smash that open? Probably not. So let me turn that down so I don't get feedback on this. Uh, yeah, so uh, anyway, uh, we've got some old computer stuff right here we can play with. Uh, this looks a lot like that uh, ViewSonic 21 inch monitor that I've got. Very nice. We'll just set him down. We got a chair over here. We're gonna get that out of our way. Toss that to the side. We got a couple computers here. This is uh, looks like an ASUS CD-ROM in that thing, 52x, and that looks like an Enlight case because it's got the little uh, spring-loaded latch right there to pull the motherboard tray out. Very nice. In fact, I think I might actually have these cases. Or pretty damn close to them anyway. Another one right there. We'll just toss him off to the side. And then we can do the same thing with the boxes here. We can just kind of throw those around. And in some areas of the game here, you'll notice these signs. In fact, uh, the beginning, I think it's the first level, there's actually graffiti along one of the tunnels that talks about the, the um, I guess it's the aliens, the possessed uh, humans that are got alien things on their heads or whatever. Uh, they can't see uh, if it's dark. It says that graffiti right there. And same thing right here, it's showing us a little manual here, showing us how to use this gun, because we're going to need it to jump up there, to get up to there, because these doors, conveniently, are locked. So we got to go over here and we got to get our gun, and it's right here. More stuff we could pick up there. I'm going to uh, pick this up here. You could read that. Pause the video if you want to read that. Toss that to the side. And I'm going to recharge my suit here while I'm here. It's kind of slow. And I'm already at 100 life, so we don't need to do that. And we've got a gnome right here. I'm going to shoot him. I have no idea what the point of the gnome is. Shoot these boxes out of the way. I don't know where the gnome went. I know I didn't blow him up. I've shot him many times and didn't blow him up. He must be under a box somewhere over here. Where did that gnome go? The gnome's hiding now. Huh. Did he, uh... Let's see, 
pick up that box right now. I can't pick that box up. Huh, I wonder what happened to the gnome. I've shot him many times, didn't blow him up, but I guess maybe I blew him up this time. I'll pick up the pieces of wood here. I don't really know what the point is of it, but we can do it nonetheless. Oh well. I guess I blew the gnome up. <laughs> oh, holy smokes. Well, anyway, let's go back over here. I am capturing this at 60 frames per second. And we got jump and shoot. And of course, I did that wrong. I do it wrong almost every time. There we go. Okay. Let me pick that. Yeah, we can, we can kind of grab that box. There we go. And we'll just throw that out there like so. Turn our flashlight off because we don't need that. You can see a picture of a map right here on the wall, some posters. Is that supposed to be New York or something like that? And we see a nice little poster right here of Bourne with the Half-Life thing embedded on his hand there. And we go up here. We've got some of these gun turrets. I'm not going to worry about messing with these, but uh, you can pick these things up. And uh, if you're out of ammunition, you've been chased by some, dual, some of these ghoul things running around, those things will shoot at them if you're pointing it forwards. So that's pretty cool. We'll get down here because there's a shotgun over here we want to get and get the ammunition. I try not to use the uh, standard weapons because ammunition is very scarce in this game. So and it's pretty much not really necessary because I'm getting by pretty well with this gun. Uh, so let's go ahead and blast this opening, this vent opening here. And we got to get over here and uh, charge up this bomb right here to blow this door. And then we've got some guys walking around down here. Turn my flashlight on. Just blow them up before they come get me here. Pick up some weapons and ammunition. And uh, we'll just take care of him. And this guy's going to get sucked up by that alien that's hanging down right there. Look at that. There he goes, getting sucked up and going to get his brain eaten right there. And nom, 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 nom. Yum yums there. But I'm not going to let that happen to me, so I'm just going to shoot that right there. I should take care of them when they puke their guts out. And uh, just keep on moving. This area right here is the same area you start out in. I don't know if it's the exact area, but it's it's modeled. In, it's the same model area. The only difference is this door, this hatch right here is closed. Right here versus where it's open on the beginning. So let's go ahead and proceed to the next portion of the chapter here might be chapter three I'm not really sure it doesn't really tell you and uh, we'll get to shoot some more brain-dead zombies walking around with things on their head okay it's kind of a, a major apocalyptic world here everything's just kind of dead and powerless for the most part blow that up just because we can and this thing is kind of nice because it kind of smashes these guys a little bit here sometimes Sometimes it just goes right through them, too. It's kind of annoying. But that will take care of these guys. It killed him pretty good. Uh, don't let him, don't let that thing touch us, though, that beam there. It's uh, going to hurt us pretty good, too. We've got a... What does that do? Wow. That must clobber you if it hits you. Okay, so <clears throat> we got to go over here. And there's a power receptacle. We got a plug in. You can see the line running right there. And we gotta plug him in to Sparky right here. Go run over here. Of course I'm out of sprint power. Let's go here. Come on, dude. Turn on the Jenny. And what I do is I like to crawl up here. And uh hopefully I don't lose my thing here. Push that off to the side so I have more room. Okay, so we're going to have to shoot these guys as they come out. This is the better way to do it, I think, anyway. Some of these guys have uh, bombs on them. They have a little red little red flashy light thing they're holding. That's a bomb. Don't let that get anywhere near you, because it does hurt. Wish my weapon would shoot. Okay, shoot gun. Looks like he was just about ready to launch that grenade at me there. Or a bomb or whatever it is. I'm blowing there's gonna be a shitload to come out of there too. And 
Now why can't I get this guy? There we go. I mean, I fell off here. Get up there, dude. Get up there before they come and get you. Come on. Okay. All right. I know this isn't the end of it. There goes near some right there. And I just lost my scaffolding right there. I was on. Shit. Now I'm in trouble. Now I'm in trouble. All right. Just keep on moving. Keep on. I wish my gun would fire. I really need it to fire. Trying to blow as many up as sometimes you can hit the one with the bomb in the middle of the group there and blow them all up. That's that's pretty good when that happens. This guy's gonna launch that grenade at us there. Hey, it blew up in his hand. Look at that. Oh shit, what the hell is that? Alright. I'm out of energy again and I can't run. Oh, come on, fire. God, that's frustrating. Alright, that should be all of them. Okay, so let's go over here, get this thing opened up. You could try to open this up while those ghouls are coming after you, but this thing takes way too long to blow, so... Every time I've tried it, they're on me before I could even get that thing spinning much, so. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and get up here. And then the ladder is collapsed right here, so we got to do our jump and shoot thing again here. Get up to here. That leads to a locked door that you can't, on that gate that you can't get out of. And again, really nice, really nice detail in this world. I'm really impressed with what these guys did. All right, so we gotta shoot this gate open, and we gotta jump and shoot. And of course, it didn't want to move. Jump and sh come on, jump and shoot. Come on, there we go. Okay, and we got a grenade launcher right here. Let's not use that right now. <clears throat> and in this room right here is a guy dangling from the ceiling, because that's what happened to Splinter Cell right there. Doggone it. Let me shoot through the window, you bitch. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I just let him dangle around there like a rag doll. Okay. And we'll proceed to the next portion right here. As you can see, there's definitely a lot of involvement in this game. Did some nice uh, visuals. And uh, it's nice that you can interact with the world there. All right, let's open that door. Got a nice little garage of some sort right here. So all these doors are locked, but I got some energy packs and some health things to get here. <clears throat> okay, so we got to shoot these windows out, at least one of them, and we got to jump and shoot. At some point, that will work. Here we go. Okay, so there's a guy on this tower over here shooting at you. There's going to be a big old mechanical walking thing coming after me here in a minute. You can see it right there. Okay, so before he gets around, now what I'm going to need to do is I need to get him positioned under these cargo containers, and I need to drop the cargo container on his head and uh, squish him. It's the only way I've found to kill him. But unfortunately, I'm out of stealth speed again. Uh, unfortunately, uh, that is a bit tricky, as I found out. Got to do it just right, because I don't know how to get those things picked up again once you shoot them down. Got some more energy here. You can see this shooting through the uh, building here, trying to get me. Some of these guys with their weapons. Good looking detail right there. Can I get any more out of this thing since I lost some yet? Can I get any more health out of it? Yep, okay, so let's get the F and A out of here. Alright, so we gotta get over here to this building. We 
got to get up there and uh, lure the big old creepy crawly thing over here right under that cargo container. Let's hope I don't screw this up. I don't know how you get past it if you do. Okay, so we'll kind of wait for him to come over here and then we're going to shoot the cargo container when he's right under here. In fact, we can do it right now. And watch him get flattened out. There we go, just like that. Okay, now there's going to be another one that comes. And you kill him, there's always another one. And you can see him right there. Just suddenly spawns. And, uh, yeah, so we need to get over to here. Somehow we need to get him over there. I don't know if I can get up there or not. I tried before. And wasn't very successful <clears throat> at it. But uh, let's see if we can get him lured over here. I suppose it's po Well, I don't think he spawns, though, until you kill the first one. So I was going to say, you could probably... Uh, lure them both over here but and squish them at the same time. I don't think so. Come on. Come over here. I don't think I can... Uh, but you know what I can do is I can lure him right over here. Just make sure he doesn't... There we go. That worked out pretty good. Alright. Great. I've been trying to do that the last six or seven times actually. <clears throat> so I think I'm going to save it since I was able to get that done. And, uh, yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah. I think that's going to be about it for this video. Oh, there's another one. Holy shit. Holy shit. Well, I'm screwed. I don't know how you kill these guys. Of course, I always... It's always got to switch weapons on me, you know? Oh, man, he's really pissed off, too. Man, he is really... Because I've tried shooting him. And it doesn't really work. Kind of knocks him out, but... I wish my weapon would fire. You know, that when the weapon doesn't fire, it really is frustrating. Can I get in here? Maybe there's something interesting in here. He's probably just going to shoot through the walls. Yeah, he's breaking down the walls already. But if you let them uh, walk over you, they will kill you. I wish my gun would fire. It would really help be helpful if my fucking gun would fire. But I don't think it does any good. It just knocks him around. So let's uh, sprint over here. Try to not get hit, and I'm getting hit here. I don't know how to get past it. How to uh, eliminate it once you once you crush them with those two containers? Because I haven't figured out how you get up on that crane there and pick those containers up there again. God, this guy is really fucking pissed, isn't he? Man, he is just really up my ass here, big time. Let's see if I can get some more health out of this little machine here or not. Yeah, oh, good. Let's see. Can I get any more out of the suit thing? Nope. That's pretty much depleted. <clears throat> so, yeah, I think uh, I'm going to leave the video off here, and you can guess whether or not I'm going to die here or not. So... I encourage you guys to play this game if you want something free, especially if you want to try something on Linux. Uh, yeah, go ahead and give this game a shot. It's free. It's it's well worth the money. It's well worth every penny spent downloading it. All right. So we'll see you guys later on this channel, and uh, take care of one. Peace out.